and welcome to Suited, the channel that inspires women all around the world that they are fit and appropriate for fulfilling a divine purpose. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and in today's video of the Suited Closet, I'll be giving you some tips on how to find your personal style. And I can't do this video without taking you through my Suited Closet and showing you some of my outfits that make me feel beautiful, confident, and bold. Now before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click that post notification button so you do not miss any videos all right ladies let's get started so personal style is a way to express ourselves through our clothing our shoes our accessories and even our hairstyles and some of these styles can be classified as edgy or chic or modern or elegant and much more but the key to finding your personal style is not following the latest trends or copying other people, but instead it's staying true to your personal style that works just for you. Now some of you may be having some trouble discovering your own style or just don't know where to get started, but no worries, I got you. I will be highlighting my personal style, providing you with some key elements and also giving you some tips on how to get started on finding your personal style. Number one, dressing your body. Now us women come in different and beautiful shapes and sizes and it is key to create styles that fit our own body. So let's start off by first identifying your body shape or type. Do you have an apple shape or a pear shape, a square shape or even an hourglass shape? You could even try taking accurate measurements of your bust, of your shoulders, your hips, and even your waist as well. By identifying your shape, it helps to map out what type of clothing you should be wearing and also how to incorporate your own personal style. So we want the clothes that we wear to fit nicely on us according to our own body shape so that it brings out that beautiful silhouette of ours. So for example, I am a pear shape which focuses more on the lower half of my body so my bum and my hips which are much bigger than my upper body. So I try to incorporate styles that balance out the two, both my upper body and my lower body so that it brings out the full silhouette. So there are many colors of the rainbow that we can work from, but there are certain colors that just make our skin pop and glow. So we want to identify those color palettes that best suit us. So they can be warm colors, cool colors. I personally like the neutral colors, um, like my browns, my blacks, my creams, my tans, my whites, because I just love how it just enhances my skin. So test it out, try out different colors that makes you feel good, that fit you and best suits you. What type of fabrics interest you? Are they cotton, velvet, silk, spandex? You want to identify those fabrics that feel good on your skin, feel good on your body, and also bring out your features. And most importantly, we want to be comfortable in our clothes. We don't want to be wearing clothes that are too tight or too loose on us. And we definitely don't want to be struggling, sitting down, getting up, or even walking in our clothes. So I want to recommend that you try on your clothes, get a feel on how it fits, how it feels. And if you pass that test, that clothing is good to go. Dressing our body is super important and we do not want to dress or build our own personal style based on someone else's body type or shape. But keep in mind that our personal style is meant to express us and meant just for us. Number two, boldness. If I could describe my personal style in a couple of words, I'll say elegant, classy, polished, and bold. I love being bold with my clothing because it gives me the opportunity to step out of the box and also step out of what may be deemed the standard. Also it screams confidence and uniqueness and it's not about just wearing bold colors or patterns or unique accessories but it shows that you are comfortable in your clothing and that you are not afraid to express who you are. Number three, modesty. Now this element is very important, very important to me, and it's something that I struggled with for many years. And it's also something that I've taken as a lesson learned and applied to my current style. 
Now, when we talk about Christianity and our faith, modesty goes beyond and it is so much more than what we wear. It is our heart, the condition of our heart and our representation of Christ. Modesty in fashion is an expression through our clothing or appearance intended to avoid indecency. So me personally, I believe it's important to welcome or incorporate a level of modesty into your personal style um, because there's so many great benefits that come out of it and also it's an opportunity to reflect and express your inner character. In 1 Timothy 2, 8 to 10, there's a verse that shares that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and with self-control. Um, I love the word respectable in this verse because I believe as women, we should present ourselves in a manner where we are res presentable, respected, and valued. I can share so many stories of when I have dressed outside of modesty and it had opened the doors for people to speak to me, treat me, and view me a certain way that didn't make me feel good. But with that being said, does that mean that women can't dress nicely or buy nice clothes or is it impossible for Christian women or women in general to look good? Absolutely not. But I want you to focus on the intent of the clothes that you wear. And remember that the clothes that we wear represents our inner being and tells us about our heart as well. Number four, versatile. Are your clothing or is your style versatile? You want to find clothing that you can create many styles out of and also wear in different ways. And lastly, number five, creative. Get creative with your style. Don't be afraid to step outside the box and try new things. Over time, our styles will change, so try to experiment with new styles and also create your own. Lastly, I wanna leave you with some helpful tools that you can use that will help you to get started on building your own personal style and also loving the clothes that you're in. Try the Instagram save feature. Whenever you're on Insta and you see a style that fits you, save it down. You can try creating mood boards on Pinterest. There are millions of photos that can help you build and discover your style and help you identify what is for you and what's not for you. That concludes today's video of The Suited Closet. I hope you've been encouraged and excited to build your personal style just for you. All outfits in this video are from Shein.com and I will make sure to list every outfit detail down below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below your personal style and what are some of your elements that you incorporate into your personal style. You can follow me on all other social medias which will be listed down below and you can visit thesuited.com for more fashion tips and outfits. And as a reminder, I want you to go about your day remembering that you are capable, you are called, and you are suited for a divine purpose. Bye!